Hi, this is Rich Foltz, Associate Director of the Illinois Association of School Administrators. And what we're going to be doing today is doing a demonstration to teach you how to embed a video from the internet, such as from YouTube, into your own PowerPoint presentation. This is a very good thing to know how to do so that if you ever want to use videos in presentations, you won't have to rely on an internet access to go get a video. It actually embeds right in your PowerPoint and then you can play it by clicking onto that slide in your PowerPoint or as soon as that page comes up it automatically will get started. The first thing you need to do is find the video that you'd like to put into your internet presentation. This particular video is one I really like. It's done by a 10 year old student in Dallas, Texas by the name of Dalton Sherman. And he's giving a presentation to 20,000 educators at the opening Teacher Institute for School this year. So that's the video that we're going to use to demonstrate. The next thing you need to have is you need to have ZillaTube. ZillaTube is a program you can use for free uh, but I would advise if you're going to do this very often that you um, buy ZillaTube and it costs about $30. And you can see here what we're going to do is we're going to download the URL from the YouTube that we're watching and we're going to download it and put it into um, our ZillaTube, which I have just done. The next thing you're going to do is push this download YouTube video bar and this will take several minutes. When your download has been completed, this window will pop up that it's been completed, so you close this window. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to have to dr uh, drag what has just been downloaded onto this YouTube video here spot. The file will look like this when you get it uh, downloaded. It'll save it on your desktop uh, in this format which you'll call video file and it'll have a number next to it. You just take that file and you drag it in and you drop it into that drop box. Now it says that the file is accepted and it also ends up popping up on your computer to make sure it's the correct video that you have uh, downloaded. So I'm going to close that because it's the correct video. Okay, the next thing you're going to need to do is convert this into a file that PowerPoint will read. What I use is this PC tab, which makes a video format <coughs> MPG. You hit the convert button, and again, this will take uh, several minutes in order to do. The next uh, box that will come up will be a box that says this conversion has been completed successfully. So you say OK to that, and now you can quick test, see what to make sure that the file is the one you wanted, by clicking on quick test and you also can save this file as well. So if I take the quick test you can see the file is the one I wanted so that's correct. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save this file and I want to save this file to my desktop because later on I'm going to take it off my desktop um, and then put it into my PowerPoint. So desktop uh, is where I want this so I say OK and I select that and then it's going to save this file to my desktop. Okay, now you're going to have a des on your desktop another icon that looks similar to the one we did before, but this one has like a, a file folder behind it. And what you're going to do is you're going to insert this file into your PowerPoint presentation. So you go to your PowerPoint presentation and you choose Insert. And you choose Movies and Sounds from Insert. And you're going to take the movie from a file and the file is going to be your desktop uh, where you told the computer to save that file. So I've gone to the desktop and I'm going to choose this file. This is the file that we were just working on. I'm going to say that that's OK. I'm going to hit OK and then it's going to embed that file into my PowerPoint presentation. Again, this will take a few seconds. Now it has embedded that file into my PowerPoint presentation and PowerPoint is asking me do I want it, the movie to start automatically or one clicked. I usually choose when clicked so I can control uh, when that happens with the PowerPoint presentation. So now you can see our slide is in there and if we play this slide uh, the uh, our slide will actually get played as for the PowerPoint presentation.